Okay, so now let's set up our application so that it can talk to SQL via ODBC. Because we have a DSN set up. So inside of my app folder, WAMP, WW, Bug Tracker, let's create a couple of folders here. I'm just going to use this button up here. So this is going to be underscore includes. I'm going to create another folder. This is going to be underscore JS. We're going to put JavaScript files in here. And let's create another folder. I'm going to call it underscore styles. I can't type, pardon me. And let's create one more folder called underscore images. We're going to put all our source images in here. So under includes, we're going to have a couple of helper files in here. So I'm going to right click and just say create new text document. And I'm going to call this db connection. I'm going to change the extension to PHP. Ooh. Now, yes, you may not have show extensions on your machine. If not, if we go over here and we hit alt and we go to view, um, check file name extensions. So that, cause you don't want to have .php.txt just because you can't see the .txt. A lot of people do that. So mine's associated. I'm gonna say open with. I'm gonna say choose another app. I want to force this to know to have an association. I think this will work for us if it will bring it up. Choose another app. Here we go. Um, more apps. And scroll down. Textpad. And I'm going to say always use this app to open PHP files. I like Textpad. I paid for it. So I'm going to do a less than sign PHP. Well, oh, sorry, question mark PHP. I'm going to go down two lines and do question mark greater than sign. So I don't need any kind of requiring in this. So here's what we're going to do. Variables in PHP start with a dollar sign. So we're going to do dollar server equals local. And then we we'll terminate every, everything with the colon. So every line of code in PHP has to be terminated. All variables start with the dollar sign. Uh, and a variable is just a placeholder. It can be anything. It could be a number. It could be a string, a word. It could be a true or false value. It could be a floating money value. It could be anything. Um, so now let's say our database is equal to bugs. We'll make it case sensitive. And we're going to create a user. Bug user. So we created it earlier here. And then we're going to say password equals. That's what we made our password earlier. Okay. So now we're going to create a thing called a connection. And this is going to equal to ODBC connect. And we're going to say database user password. And then if not, so the exclamation point says this is not going to be true. It was a dollar sign connection. And then we're going to start with the curly brackets. And we'll put an else statement in there. And then what we can do in PHP is we can echo back out. And this will just write to the web page that you're on. Uh, database connection failed. And if successful, we're going to echo database opened. Okay. So now, let's go test it out. Let's see if we got access to our database. So we're in a bug tracker. We have to go to underscore includes. And db connection dot php. And database opened successfully. So cool. So now we have actually tied our in, uh, application to an SQL database through ODBC. So I'm going to stop this one here.